The conservatory has a fundamental belief, and it is this, that when talent meets inspiration, the results are extraordinary. We attract uh, some of the most talented young people from around the world, and our eminent faculty, when, when they come together, uh, they're inspired. For me, playing the violin is a great honor, and I try to impart that upon my students. It's a great privilege. It's very important to study with world-class faculty. You are getting the finest teaching possible. The students receive uh, lessons weekly, individually with a professor, and then members of the studio get together uh, once a week, uh, often here in the concert hall, uh, to perform for one another. We have no teaching assistants. Your teacher is your teacher. They are there for you, um, and you're sharing them only with maybe four or five other students in most cases. Um, so studio size is kept at a strict, strict size so that everybody always gets up to play. You're going to always play an orchestra. There's always a spot for you in chamber music, and freshmen and sophomores have exactly the same same opportunities as a graduate student does. We, we do uh, great literature with the orchestra. We do altogether about uh, seven or eight concerts a season. So they're playing the greatest literature just as they would be doing if they were in a professional orchestra. In addition to playing in the wind ensemble and the Philharmonia in every semester, brass students will play in a chamber group each semester, as well as have orchestral repertoire class. This is really a unique part of Lynn University, something that we do really well. Our intimate size allows us to let everyone in the school play in all of the ensembles. A typical brass player at Lynn University is one that's focused, motivated, uh, classically trained, and is ready for a life in performance. Uh, we really are a school that focuses solely on uh, performance and performance issues. There are four, basically four of each woodwind enrolled here, so uh, everybody gets a, a chance to play chamber music and in the orchestra and, and a lot of personal attention, so I think that's helpful in uh, mentoring. We have a weekly performance forum in the hall here where all of the students and faculty come to listen to in-house performances. Some of those, uh, the strongest performances, are then uh, put in front of the, the public, and then those are public concerts. Every student, including the pianists, are involved in chamber music every week of the entire period of their time here. Um, we have uh, outreach programs where students get to perform in the community. We have weekly uh, programs uh, where they perform for each other. So there's a tremendous amount of performing that goes on here. So no student is left behind. All the students get a chance to perform whatever piece they've been working on, whenever it's ready, as, as soon as their teacher puts a stamp on the sheet, um, they can play here. All the students just love to just play here because they're playing for their peers. The students are all very supportive of each other. It seems to me when the students aren't working hard here, they're working hard in some community orchestra or other and, uh, and making money. So it's, uh, it's a great place, as I said, for pre-professional training. I think one of the most important benefits of being in this conservatory is the wide variety of students that we get that come from all over the world. So th these students have a global network actually established. We've had a number of our graduates uh, who have gone into very successful careers in, in music performance. Several of them are in major symphony orchestras like Pittsburgh Symphony, Detroit Symphony, Metropolitan Opera Orchestra. I don't know, it's like a real comfortable place where you could really uh, hone your craft and just nurture your musicianship. We are a faculty of 16. We are here and it's, it's our job to make you as, as happy as you can be in the pursuit of, of your performance dreams.